So you want to build a computer for Blender on a limited budget. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a computer for less than 500 pounds, and I'm gonna give you some of my suggested upgrades. Starting with... The CPU is the heart of the computer, except in Blender when it doesn't really do much. It's pretty much just gonna be baking caches and doing the initial build at the start of the render. So for this reason, this is an area where we can save some money. I've chosen this AMD Ryzen 3 4100. It's only 64 pounds. Now you could spend a bit more and get a Ryzen 5, but personally I'd rather save the money for a more expensive graphics card because that's where you're gonna get the big benefits and performance. RAM is important for your PC, but you only need enough to be able to load your scene and run the background tasks. Having extra RAM isn't gonna help your performance. So for this reason, I would recommend getting 16 gigabytes of RAM, which should cost between 30 to 35 pounds. I'd definitely consider getting 16 gigabytes of RAM on only one stick of RAM. That way it's gonna be much easier for you to upgrade to 32 gigabytes in the future. It will be a bit slower than having two sticks, but overall you will save money from having to rebuy all the RAM again. Next, we need somewhere to put the CPU and the RAM, and I've chosen this ASUS Prime A320M-K motherboard. It's a bit small, which means you're limited to only two sticks of RAM, but then again, it's only 65 pounds. I was originally going to suggest getting a spinning mechanical hard drive, but when you consider you can get this one terabyte crucial SSD for 50 pounds, I think it makes sense to go for the SSD. It might not give you much extra performance in Blender, but your computer's gonna boot up quicker, programs are gonna open quicker, and overall it's just gonna make the day-to-day -day operations much faster. Talking of faster, if you want faster rendering, then I have the online rendering service for you, Graded Blue Render Farm. It's simple, easy to use, and it's the lowest cost online rendering solution. So if you want to render faster, then have a look at Graded Blue Render Farm, and the link to that's in the description. Such a mighty computer demands mighty power, and for about £50 you can have this 550 watt Corsair power supply. No, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you can save some money on this build by getting a cheaper power supply. After all, you can see these six 700 watt power supplies available for only £30, but don't do it. Trust me, it's not worth it. I've made that mistake in the past. Eventually, they all go pop apart from the one that shot sparks out the back first, and the one that melted the GPU power cable. Just trust me on this, you need a good power supply like an EVGA or this Corsair one. You really don't need to spend much here, definitely less than 50 pounds. Just get something you like the look of. A lot of cases come with fans pre-installed, especially the front fans, but just make sure that the case has an exhaust fan as well, otherwise your computer might overheat when doing blender renders. If it doesn't come with an exhaust fan, that's fine, you can buy some extra ones and they really don't need to be expensive. Finally, the most exciting part of the computer, but also the most expensive part. This is where you should really be spending most of the money, but unfortunately with a budget of 500 pounds, you're probably going to be looking at a GTX 1660. It's a decent card, but if you want some more performance and you're prepared to go with a second hand option, you could also look at an RTX 2070. Now, if you do have any extra money beyond the 500 pound budget, I cannot recommend enough going for a graphics card like the RTX 3060. It has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which is double what you get with the 1660. It's also going to render significantly faster than the 1660 as well. Although, if your budget really is 500 pounds, then don't feel bad about the 1660. With all the components I've listed, you have a computer that's definitely capable of doing some amazing 3D graphics. <laughs> 